Kate, thanks. Happening now, six local World War II veterans are on their way to Europe. They're headed to Belgium, Luxembourg, and Germany with a group forever young senior veterans. Way 31's Rodnia Ross was at Huntsville International Airport for the send off this afternoon. I had a chance to talk to one of those veterans before he went through TSA to board that plane. His name is George Mills. He was actually captured and was a prisoner of war for five months. And on this trip, he's going to go back to the home that he was captured from and visit with that family. I got uh, captured in the Battle of Bowes. The two divisions surrounded our company. And... Uh, no one could get to us. That's how George Mills became a prisoner of war while serving in World War II. He told me the year was 1944 and his company was down to six rounds of ammunition. Realizing they didn't have enough ammo to fight, the company surrendered. They took the officers, and put them in concentration camps, took the privates and put them on work details, and most of them in coal mines, and they took all the NCOs. It started us marching to Stalager 8A, which was on the Czechoslovakian border. Mills told me during his time in captivity, they weren't fed. The only time they ate was at night in the barn they were held in, where they had sugar beets and rutabaga. After enduring five months of captivity, a military track vehicle arrived. When it turned, there's a big star on the side of it, of course. We recognized it being American. So the time it got to us, we took the guards over. Now in his 90s, Mills told me he has kept in touch with the daughter of the people who were trying to help them when they were captured. He sends letters and Christmas cards and will get to meet her for the first time on the trip. Oh, yeah, I'm anxious to see her. So, uh, yeah, we're quite friends, but I just never seen it. Now, George and those other veterans will be back here in Huntsville on September 14th. And again, the public is welcome to come out and welcome them back home. Reporting in Huntsville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News. A flight of a lifetime. Eight other veterans are on that trip. They'll meet at the Atlanta airport. The, uh, the anniversary of the Battle of the Bulge is not until December, but they're going right now because it's warm.